Hi there, Pisces, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of October 18th through to the 24th. I went ahead, shuffle the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Pisces. First up, we have Major Arcana, the uh, Lovers in the Upright, followed then by the Ace of Wands upright. Next, we have the Knight of Wands. Next, we have the King of pentacles and lastly major arcana the wheel of fortune they're all in the upright so your overall energy is a big decision is looming for my pisces <laughs> we have the gemini energy the lovers in the upright position this is about needing to make a choice we can always make a choice that's what i love about being human <laughs> is that we have choices and we can exercise them we sure can um we do have free will remember and when it comes to love we can always choose to love we can choose not to love we can choose to bring that relationship in and and be accepted of it growing into something more or we can choose to pull the reins back we are always in control of these things we can uh, choose to do things if it fits our lives and we choose that we want to give in to love we can do it <laughs> um, also to the lovers is not always just about love sometimes it's just about needing to make a major choice a big decision it could be choosing between two different people Sometimes it's like, I love them both, but who do I love more? They're putting pressure on me, so I kind of need to make a choice here. Uh, sometimes it can be about business partners even. Like, you know, I want to go into business. This guy, this person is interested in me, you know, and wants to be my business partner, but so does this person. So I, you know, sometimes it can be a big choice between two companies. Maybe you're, you have a specialty in what you do for a living and maybe there's two companies that are interested in you and they're both pursuing you. It's about making choices and decisions. It's about choosing one over the other. So there's a big choice looming over you this week. And I've been seeing that a lot for Pisces lately. I think you guys are in the choice, er like, aspect of your your lives because i still have to make that video it'll be out soon uh, for you guys for the the jupiter movement because there is something shifting and it's going to really affect my pisces out there in december but even jupiter in itself will be moving forward uh shortly so there's a lot of things going on with Pisces because Jupiter is finally going to be leaving your 12th house in December and you will be out of your final descent and you have so many choices in front of you to, you know, for career choices, for relationship choices, everything is going to be brand new for you. So the, the choice aspect of it, I notice it coming up in the readings more often for Pisces lately. It's probably because it's getting, you know, it doesn't happen all at once. Some Pisces, early born Pisces, as opposed to middle born or later Pisces will experience these transit at different times. So some of you are already feeling the transit and it's already affecting your life in a major way. And others of you, it'll be coming later on. So enough of that rambling that's a video for another time we've got the ace of wands starting off the week for you pisces the ace of wands is a lot of signs got aces this week so there must be new beginnings starting a lot of people are starting some kind of new beginnings now the ace of wands could be anything from you know a brand new business idea that's why i say it could be choosing between two business partners or even two business ideas this could be a new you know business idea that comes to you out of the anti-cosmos it could be an option or opportunity that comes to you from the, the universe it could be like oh hey you know Pisces, try this. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's it's passionate because the Ace of Wands is all about passion. It's something that will bring excitement and passion to your life. For some of you, even travel because sometimes the Ace of Wands can indicate travel. Some of you could get the travel bug at the beginning of the week and just, ooh, I want to fly off somewhere. I want to do something. I just need to do something different. I want to break the routine, you know. So it could be a new idea or a new destination that you're very excited about. That could be the case or it could be definitely an, a romantic partner that arrives on the scene and it could be the knight of wands good old pajama man because he looks like he's wearing pajamas but here he comes riding in on his horse very adventurous um uh, all the knights bring in some type of offer so for you pisces it could be a quick sale if you have something up for sale uh, your car or your home or what have you others of you this could be 
uh, you know, this, this sort of passionate person who comes, it could be a friend of yours even that, you know, is just that type. We all have a, a Knight of Wands type of friend that sort of uh, flies by the seat of their pants. It's Quicksilver just like all of a sudden calls you up one day. I haven't heard from them in months and they just like, oh, I'm going to be um, stopping by your your town i'll be you know see you monday morning for coffee or what have you and you're like well okay they don't give you a lot of time to deliberate for others of you this could be a new character arriving on the scene who's bringing some extreme passion towards you maybe you're really passionate about this person maybe this person is really exciting to you really turns you on and you're like wow i really want to hang out with this person and this person could be wanting to do fun things go on adventures travel do those kinds of things maybe go on a horseback ride <laughs> whatever the situation is he's he's down for it he likes to just have fun and and it's all about excitement for the knight of wands um it could be even a yeah a, a, an offer again it could be like a business offer it could be a job offer or something but to do something passionate and something fun and something you like to do moving on towards the weekend now we have this king of pentacles another card that has shown up um, quite a bit for most most of the signs this week. I don't know what this King of Pentacles is doing here. Maybe he's a person who gets around or it could be representing a lot of different people dealing with bankers or real estate agents because that's what this person does for a living. This could be also, uh, you know, a head of a company, a CEO, or a really stable person. So either people are embodying the energies of the King of Pentacles this week. Maybe they want to become more grounded and more stable or you could be Pisces maybe meeting someone like this maybe this is a friend of yours this person is really passionate but this person could be somebody else could be where the choice comes in right you can be dealing with two two different characters maybe you have to choose between them for some of you maybe this these are your your friends or your children or something I don't know why I thought sons or something maybe you're having to, cho to choose maybe uh, one son wants you to do this and the other son wants you to do that. If you're older and these are older people in your life, maybe one son wants you to just, you know, sell the house and travel and the other one wants you to remain grounded. I don't know. Um, that could be the case for some of you. But it seems like you're being put on the spot. Now, I remember, I, was it last week or something or was it the monthly? But I know that it was like you guys it was all about you needing to pick a lane and it's interesting i mean i you're you're the 12th reading i'm doing today and none of well these cards didn't come up in this the 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 choice card didn't come up for anybody else and and, and it comes up for pisces again that's what i'm thinking like there's something going on here and now you've got the wheel of fortune at the end of the week something is puzzling me here please pisces uh bring your stories forward if you can even email me them uh i want to know what's going on with pisces are you like uh, stuck between uh, making a major decision are you stuck between two people are you being you know sort of squeezed to pick a lane what's happening here pisces <laughs> And the last card is the Wheel of Fortune in the upright position, which is awesome because you're, whatever it is you're choosing or you're doing, Pisces, I'm pretty sure you're going to land in the right place. So I don't think it's anything you really need to worry too much about because it just seems like whatever's happening here is like faded. It's, it's destined to happen. So all you need to do here, Pisces, is just pick a lane just decide and i think it's gonna it's gonna be the right decision because you land at the wheel of fortune so i'm telling you and i often call this what jupiter's wheel right jupiter is turning direct so there, something is going on here with my pisces or maybe it's just a certain set of pisces that's why i want to know in the comment section like what is going on here are you being, you know, put in a position to have to pick a lane or pick between two people or something? I don't know what's happening here. Pisces, please do tell. But looks looks interesting. At least it's not boring. <laughs> it doesn't look bad. It looks good. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's what I have for you, Pisces. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope this reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next week. Thank you and God bless.